So prices seem to keep rising. So we love to find any way to save some cash. We've got the queen of couponing joining us for tips and tricks to snag the best deals. And it doesn't include your grandmother's binder of paper clippings. You guys remember one of those? Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Brianne Beauvais. Yes. Ooh, welcome. Yes, coupon queen. Thank so why you. do they call you the coupon queen? Well, I'm known for being able to go to stores like Walmart, get over $100 worth of products for about $4.16 oh. out of pocket, which is super exciting. Um, my best hauls, though, are typically at CVS. That's my favorite store to coupon at, where I easily get over $100 worth of products week after week wow. for either free or sometimes I'll actually make money couponing, which is why couponing can be so powerful. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, monthly savings. How much money has couponing saved you each month, but also how much time do you have to spend each week putting all of your deals together? Well, when I before I started couponing, I would spend probably on average $250 a month on laundry products, paper products, hair care, the whole nine yards. So once I learned how to coupon and coupon the right way, I'm now able to get four or five times the amount of products for 75% less, which is incredible. So one month I thought it would be fun to calculate in June I grabbed $1,309 worth of products, a variety of different products, and my out-of-pocket cost was just $53. What? Whoa. So a lot of people have the misconception, too, that it takes so much time because they're used to grandma's couponing where they have four carts in the store and all of these paper coupons. But at the end of the day, it's 2022. You can coupon all from your phone, all digitally. You wow. don't have to use a single paper coupon if you don't want to. So you can probably, I coupon, it takes about five to six hours a week, but I coupon at multiple stores for my audience. So I teach my audience and my students how to coupon at one store, once a week should take you about two hours. That's amazing. Wow. So you like you were talking about use several methods to coupon, right? Money save to save money coupons, reward programs, cash back apps. This seems a little intimidating, like you were saying for a beginner. How do you suggest someone start? Okay, just tell me that and I have a follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it can definitely seem intimidating at first and it's mostly because a lot of people try to dive in head first and coupon at all the stores and do all the things. So I always recommend pick one store, download the app so you can start getting comfortable with the different digital coupons and such. I teach couponing like an upside down pyramid. So the more levels of the pyramid you participate in, the more money you're gonna save. But start with one level, get really used to it, master it, and then start adding in the different rebate apps. Maybe you wanna add in paper coupons, so on and so forth. All right, so this question's for me personally. Sometimes when I go to a new site, it says save 10% by signing up with your email and phone number. Is that worth 10% in the end for getting emails and phone calls for life? <laughs> I think so personally. At the end of the day, I typically don't put my phone number because that's a pain in the butt. I don't want people blowing up my phone. But an email, I feel like everybody has that junk email address that they can use. So I have a specific email that I use so that all my coupons and stuff go there. And then maybe in two months, you're like, oh, I need a new pair of shoes. Let me see if Adidas sent me a coupon or Nike or whatever your brand is. Let me see if they sent me a coupon and I can check that email real quick and then bam, I have some coupons. That's smart. All That's right. really smart. All right, so I'm kind of a couponer. Is that what you call it, couponer? Couponer. Yeah. Um, I'm like, that's not right. Um, I do like Rakuten. I do like Retail Me Not. I look up stuff just like you said. CVS is really helpful. You know, it's changed. CVS? The CVS. Who print out like a yeah, but thing if you're, this big? Yeah, but okay. if you're smart, you can really save money. My question is, do you have a favorite like app or digital? Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> I can't with those. It is a little yeah. long. Do you have like a digital way or a favorite way of doing it digitally that's changed from those old days of the binders? Is that sort of where you go or do you go to the stores app? I go to the store's app. So for CVS, for example, that is my favorite store to coupon at. They have the weekly ad with all the sales and everything right on the app, or you can do it on a computer, of course, as well. They have digital coupons, so you can just click the digital coupons right on the app. Then when you go to the store, purchase those products, you type in your phone number at the checkout that's associated with your um, account that you have. 
And then when they scan the products, they hit total, your digital coupons come off, which is incredible. And then my favorite rebate app that I would say yeah. is Ibotta because they give you actual cash back. It doesn't Whoa. have to be a gift card. Yeah. So you can literally transfer it to your PayPal or even directly to your bank account. Wow. So you can get additional cash back as well on products that you're already getting a discount on. This is like game changing. You can make like 50 This is cities. great. Yeah, really, really good. Um, okay, so because you know more about couponing than anybody, what are some of the rules that you live by that you can pass on to us and our viewers? Well, there's four rules that I typically live by. So number one is to coupon once a week and do it consistently at one store. Like I said, don't go head first and try to coupon at five stores and do all the things because you will get overwhelmed. You will wind up paying too much out of pocket, which kind of defeats the purpose. So pick one store and stick to it. And I typically recommend picking a pharmacy because they have a rewards program and they have digital coupons. Mm. So now you can use the rewards to keep your out of pocket even lower. So that is the first rule, super important. The second rule is only buy products you need. Don't get stuck in the trap of, oh, but it's 50% off, right? It's exciting that you're saving 50%, but at the end of the day, if it's not a product that you need or you're gonna use, you're wasting that money and it's coming out of your budget. So you don't wanna do that. Make sure it's products that you need so that you're not just buying things to buy things and increasing your out of pocket. The third rule that I live by is if coupons or deals aren't working, say you get to check out and you're expecting to pay $10 and a bunch of digital coupons aren't working, maybe the system is having some issues and technical problems, don't feel obligated to pay for it. Don't feel embarrassed. Void the transaction. There's always another deal. There's always another day. Deals are cyclical. So say you love Dove deodorant. There'll be another deal on that in the next couple of weeks. So don't pay too much out of pocket or feel embarrassed to void a transaction. And Brie, it's not a big deal. We're running out of time, but we, luckily with that graphic, we were able to see your fourth tip. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us and teaching us some money saving of hacks. Course. DBL Nation to learn how you can save more and even take classes from the coupon queen herself. Check out her website, BrieCouponQueen.com. Thank you so much, Brie. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Happy couponing.